Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss an important health topic. Meat forms an essential part of the daily diet of many people. Meat is mainly of two types, red meat and white meat. But it often gets difficult to choose between red meat and white meat due to numerous health benefits offered by both. Red meat contains more myoglobin pigment so it appears as red. White meat contains very less myoglobin pigment and so it appears white. Red meat includes mutton, pork, beef, etc. White meat includes chicken, fish. Both kinds of meat have some bad effects on health as well which we should kept in mind while consuming either of them. We will see how each type of meat affects our health and which will be more beneficial to our body. First coming to the red meat. It includes mutton, pork and beef etc. Red meat contains rich sources of iron. Iron prevents anemia. It also contains creatine which improves muscle mass of our body. It contains zinc which is a booster for our immunity. It also contains phosphorus which has vital role in our bone metabolism. It also contains B complex vitamins like B2, B3, B5 and vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is very important for the healthy functioning of our nerves and red blood cells. It also contains lipoic acid which is a strong antioxidant. Up to now we have seen the good qualities of red meat. Now we will see the bad qualities of red meat. Red meat contains less amount of protein compared to white meat and the protein present in the red meat has less biological value than the white meat as only 70% of the red meat protein can be absorbed into our body whereas 80% of the white meat protein can be absorbed by our body. Next we will see the health problems that can occur due to consumption of higher quantities of red meat for a long period. Red meat contains high amount of saturated fat, trans fatty acids, low density cholesterol that is LDL cholesterol which is a bad cholesterol and also red meat contains high amounts of triglycerides. So it can lead to hypertension, atherosclerosis, coronary artery disease leading to heart stroke and also cerebrovascular accident can occur. Cerebrovascular accident is nothing but a brain stroke and it can also lead to type 2 diabetes mellitus. Red meat also contains N nitroso compounds which are the carcinogenic agents. These compounds can cause various cancers like colorectal cancer, gastric cancer, pancreatic cancer and prostate cancer. So what is the safest limit for the consumption of red meat? One individual can take 500 grams of red meat per week. It comes to around 50 to 60 grams of red meat per day. In the red meat, pork and beef are more harmful than the mutton. In the mutton, tender goat meat is the best and is considered to be better than the chicken breast piece. Next coming to the white meat. It includes chicken, fish etc. White meat contains more proteins than red meat and 80% of the protein that is present in the white meat can be consumed by our body. But white meat contains less amount of iron, creatine, zinc, phosphorus and B complex vitamins which are more available in the red meat. And fish contains omega 3 fatty acids which reduces the risk of heart diseases. And chicken contains the amino acid tryptophan which reduces the suicidal thoughts in depression patients. So many psychiatric doctors prescribe chicken soup for the patients suffering with suicidal thoughts. Chicken also contains the micronutrient selenium which prevents hypothyroidism. Chicken is beneficial to the athletes, bodybuilding and gym individuals. Chicken leg piece and seafoods contain more amounts of sodium. So these should be avoided in individuals with hypertension and kidney problems. So friends this is about red meat and white meat. Chicken breast peas and tender goat meat are the preferred meats for a healthy lifestyle. Choose the food which is healthier to you. Please like this video and share it to your friends and comment how this information is useful to you. And for more videos like this please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.